MIT, best known for cutting-edge research and an unrelenting zeal for the technologies of tomorrow. But in one quiet corner of the campus, a reverence for the past. We are actually in front of a very special tree. This apple tree, a direct descendant of the tree that Isaac Newton is said to have sat under when first contemplating his famous theory of gravity. The very tree, we think. David Kaiser, professor of physics and the history of science at MIT. He says the story of Newton's falling apple has the ring of truth. Newton himself repeated that story later in life. That doesn't make it true, but it wasn't invented 300 years later. Whether he was hit on the head by an apple or just was pondering a favorite apple tree, that I don't know. A cutting from Newton's famous tree was donated to MIT 40 years ago and planted in this quiet courtyard. It's a bit tucked away. It's a nice, it's sort of a, 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 not a private spot, but a sort of quiet, a secluded spot. It is open to the public. This British transplant seems to have adapted quite nicely to the science-friendly environment. Newton set in motion ideas that many people here at MIT continue to grapple with, and so it's, it's a nice kind of literally a living connection to, to our past. It's amazing. I, I think it's lovely. Let us now turn from the man to the municipality. We are on the Wilson property. We're in Newton, Massachusetts. It's the Andre Wilson Treeway, but we're in Jolly's Hollow. We meet up with Beth Wilkinson of the Newton Conservators in Jolly's Hollow, a little wooded glen that feels a world apart from the bustling neighborhoods that encircle it. Oh, this is very nook and cranny. We have residential areas on both sides. We have a, an elementary school behind us, and it's just tucked in here. And most people even who've grown up in Newton don't know it's here. Jolly's Hollow is private property, but a conservation restriction grants the public access to a path that runs through the Wilson property. As for the origins of the name Jolly's Hollow, historical archives offer few clues. I wish I knew, I'm sorry. Jolly's Hollow. Just one of the many hidden gems that are all around us, if we care to poke around a bit. I really like seeing people show up. I want people to come and see it and enjoy it, kind of like they do with the De Cordoba. Nooks and crannies, the perfect ground for cultivating the unusual and encountering the unexpected. People are not expecting it. It fills them with something like excitement and happiness and, oh, maybe even a little joy. <laughs> Indeed. Back to the Newton apple tree at MIT. It's been there for 40 years. It's only borne fruit once in 2006. MIT, students are busy. The bees are not. I wonder if they're any good. That's Chronicle for tonight. Good night, everybody.